Tofty, Minnesota. We are at the Carlton Peak Trailhead. It's actually also called the Britain Peak Trailhead is where the starting point is, but this also brings you to Carlton Peak. So we're gonna hike this trail today. We're gonna go to Carlton Peak first since that's longer, and then afterwards we're gonna go do the Britain Peak. So these two trails are actually considered to be part of the Temperance River State Park. Um, so pretty cool. We've never hiked either of these trails yet, so we're excited to see it and um, experience it, and it's a beautiful day for a hike. So let's get started. Go. Here is the start of the trail here at the Britain Peak Trailhead. Um, as you can see, it's about 1.5 miles to Carlton Peak, so three miles round trip. So, might as well bust out the big ones before we uh, take on the little ones. So if you're just tuning into this video, we actually were just kayaking at Split Rock uh, State Park. We just went and kayaked in front of the lighthouse and back, and that was so pretty. So that's what we did this morning, and now this afternoon we have all these longer hikes planned. So it's going to be a good day for hiking. We did lather up and put a whole bunch of bug spray on because we are starting to see a little bit more bugs come out now. Um, it's July 10th, so it's the middle of summer, of course. So is the season for more bugs. There is a really nice breeze today, so that helps. So um, yeah, it should be a good day. It's probably like, what, 77 to 80 degrees today? So, beautiful day though. From the trailhead, you do cross the road here. So be careful crossing the road, lots of traffic. We got one more sign here as we cross the road. All right, and this trail is part of the Superior Hiking Trail. So this is like a tree that has a marker on it. So yeah, that's we just kind of keep our eyes on that too when we're hiking and that will lead us all the way to Carlton Peak. So the trail is actually really dry, um, but then they also have like this boardwalk area, as you can see, um, they put over more like marshy areas. So that's really nice. So. Haven't really seen a lot of muddy areas at all yet. However, if I do, I'll let you know because I did see in some of the reviews that sometimes there can be muddy areas, but I don't know. I'm sure it depends on the time of year too. So we shall see. Oh, we just ran into a tiny bit of mud here, but we're easily able to go around it. <laughs> The trail is really actually nicely groomed for the most part, like the weeds are back, it's a decent and wide and a little bit more mud there, but again, totally manageable. All right, coming up on mud, but so far we can get around it, but that is super squishy looking. <laughs> It's getting rocky climbing. This reminds me of when we hiked the Bean and Bear Loop. This was very much like that trail, very rocky, up and downhill. So, but that was a beautiful hike too, but longer hike than this one. So for the most part, this hike is actually really shaded with coverage, which is really nice. Um, and then there's a few spots where the sun peeks through and then it gets hot. <laughs> but otherwise it's been really comfortable for the most part. But now that we're going uphill, we're getting we're getting more warmed up now. <laughs> oh yeah, actually right here, kind of see we're climbing. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, we did spray ourselves down with bug spray, but I don't even think we had to do that, which we're kicking ourselves for because we hate wearing bug spray. We try and stay away from that as much as we can. But we figured since we're going deep in the woods, we should get ready for it. But the bugs aren't that bad. So now we're kind of walking on the edge. It's like steep down on the left of us now. We're at the treetops. It's getting real fun now. I don't know if you can see it. Lots of rocks. Now we got big rocks next to us. <laughs> I think we're getting closer to the summit. Oh yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> we got a box. Oh boy! 
Should we sign it? Yes. All right. Of course. We're getting to the top. Let's see. We'll do right here. Seven, ten, twenty. Woohoo! We did it. <laughs> All right, there's the sign. We're getting there to the summit. Oh yeah, now it's getting steeper. We're getting closer. Wow. We made it. Sweating. His back's all sweaty, so he's trying to air out his shirt, but that's cool. <laughs> so pretty up here. I can't believe the views. This is Carlton Peak Summit. So cool. The hike was super worth it and not hard at all. So yeah, worth it. Oh my gosh, definitely something, another one of those hikes I want to do in the fall because I think it would be like beautiful views of all the colors. So definitely keeping this one on the list. You kind of felt like you were like on top of the world because you were so high and yeah, it was beautiful. Now back down and we are going to do the Britain Peak hike, which is a much shorter hike. All right, we just made it back here to the trailhead. We're getting some water and just getting ready because now we're gonna do the uh, Britain Peak hike. So that Carlton Peak took us two hours exactly. So we got here at noon and it is exactly two o'clock. So um, good hike, so on to the next one. All right, here is the start of the Britain Peak trail and it is only 0.3 miles one way. So nice and short and I'm okay with that. <laughs> ready, honey? I'm ready. All right, Britain Peak's next. <laughs> Conquering all the peaks today. <laughs> And just a heads up, both of these trailheads are in the same parking lot. So on your maps, you go right from Tofty up to the Britain Peak Trailhead. And that is where you can start both of these hikes. Okay, so just a heads up everyone. So the first sign right here, it says Britain Peak to the left. And then there's the arrow for the Superior Hiking Trail straight. So just know that Britain Peak, you have to turn here. Don't go straight or you're going to be down at the Superior Hiking Trail, which is much, much longer. So we're turning... Right. Oh, that way. <laughs> All right, so because this is such a short hike, you're pretty much going straight up <laughs> to get to the top of the peak. So just be ready. We got some stairs and straight up. Holy buckets. Wow, <laughs> it's like straight up. Ah. <laughs> oh. I'm glad this is only 0.3 miles. Wow. Wow, we've like not even been on the trail five minutes. And we're already to the top. Seeing views of the treetops already. Wow. Oh, cool. Wow, this is way cool. This is like a army memorial for Britain. And I suppose that's why it's called Britain Peak. Very cool. That's cool. Wow. Here it is. All right, you see that hump right there? That's Carlton Peak. That's where we just hiked. So yeah, we have a view of where we just were from Britain Peak. Woo! It is so hot up here. Yeah, like the breeze is not right here, so. 
You can hear it, but it doesn't ever Yeah, come. I can hear the breeze, but it doesn't come where we are. <laughs> What's going on here? Wow. So pretty though. Cool. That was cool. All right, back down. That was a quick one. <laughs> it took us exactly six minutes to get up there from the trailhead. So short and sweet. <laughs> All right, there it is, you guys. We did Carlton and Britain Peak, and it was amazing. Good Definitely, I mean, we, what would you say, hun? Moderate, easy, easy to moderate, right? I wouldn't say difficult. No. It was, it was moderate, I would say. So, yeah. yeah, not bad at all. So we did it. Good job. Thank you guys so much for watching. And now we are gonna head over to Temperance State Park and do some more hiking along the river and see waterfalls and do all the fun stuff over there now. So stay tuned for that video cause that's like part three of this day up here from kayaking in Split Rock to those hikes and now Temperance State Park for a little bit more hiking. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments and we will see you in the next vlog. Bye guys. Bye.